Alito, and thank you for having me. I want to thank the National Indian Child Welfare Association, their board of directors, and their staff for the honor of receiving this prestigious award. It is very rare in life when you have the opportunity of being acknowledged for doing something you love and are passionate for. And I'd like to just take a brief moment to introduce myself and to explain where the passion for keeping Native youth and their families connected to their kin and culture began with me. My name is Christy Heath. I'm a member of the Choctaw Nation, a wife, a mother of four girls, and a Mimi to two beautiful grandchildren. I've been a child welfare worker and then a child welfare supervisor in different capacities for the state of Oklahoma for over 19 years. In every capacity that I served in child welfare, my primary focus has always been keeping children in their own families when it can be done safely. If a child is not able to maintain in their own home, then following ICWA standards and keeping children connected to their kin, culture, and community is my dedication to each of these youth. My most recent position within child welfare was as a shelter supervisor within the Specialized Placement and Partnership Unit. That position helped me to enhance ICWA guidelines by allowing me to review the efforts on children being staffed across the state of Oklahoma in DHS custody. I reviewed the children's cases to see if all family members had been explored and if active efforts had been made to keep children connected to their culture and community if they had not been placed with their family. In doing the reviews, the hope was to build on the placement process and help our Native children stay connected or reconnect them to their heritage. I recently took the shelter unit that I supervised to the first American Museum in Oklahoma City to help educate them on historical trauma that indigenous people have experienced and explain how the work that they do with youth in the shelters could trigger these youth and cause some of the acting out behaviors that they're seeing while they're in the shelters. I wanted them to understand how important trauma-based therapy is for these youth my unit expressed to me after this experience that they had such a deeper understanding of the importance of keeping our youth connected to their families and their communities. In teaching and training other social workers, my hope is that ICWA will remain in the forefront of their minds and they will have a better comprehension of why this law was enacted in the first place. I hope the spark of understanding will continue beyond myself in that moment. I recently accepted a position as a temporary aid to needy families field manager, and I am taking with me this feeling of hope and a strength and desire to do all I can to continue advocating for families and their children. I believe this to be one of the most important tasks of my life. In closing, I just want to say thank you once again for this award and to express to everyone how very honored I am to have received it. Thank you again.